Introduction 1. Crossing the harbor, he became a subordinate of Huang Zhicheng and worked undercover at the Han Chen Group. Facing the risk of undercover exposure at the beginning. Mad. I'm not a person anymore. At the beginning, he killed Huang Zhicheng, then Han Chen, and continued to act recklessly, crossing the police and business circles, walking further and further on the path of being an outsider. Introduction 2. Ma Jichao is a person with polarized external evaluations. Rich individuals, clubs, and certain police officers. He is not a person, he is despicable and shameless, he is both promiscuous and disdainful, he framed and framed, he is good at giving away blame to others. He has ruined the culture of the entire Hong Kong island. Media acclaim. He is the richest man in Asia, he is a philanthropist, he is a great hero in the police force, and as for those dark histories, they are all rumors goddesses. He is a libertine who is both loved and hated. Ma Ji Chao. Wrong, I am a great person. Some people just like to be wronged. I repeatedly emphasize that the culture on Hong Kong Island is not my fault. Keywords of the novel. Hong Kong Comprehensive. Infernal Affairs Undercover. I'm not a person anymore. No pop-ups, Hong Kong comprehensive news. No undercover agents. I'm not a person anymore. Complete download of TXT, Hong Kong comprehensive news. Infernal affairs undercover. I'm not a person anymore. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Yellow Sir, see you on the rooftop. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 1 Yellow Sir, see you on the rooftop. 1 Hong Kong Island. A certain underground parking lot. Ma Ji Chao had a constipated expression on his face. Have I traveled on horseback? He has traveled through time. Crossing to Hong Kong Island in 1993. Strong and tall in stature, with a brilliant appearance like a galaxy of stars. He is definitely a handsome guy. At this moment, a stream of memory washes down. What kind of thing? Am I a police undercover agent? Ma Jichao originally thought he could use his rebirth advantage to kill and kill, but after clearing his memory, he realized that he was a police undercover agent. And his boss, Huang Jicheng, who is known as the undercover ghost seeing sorrow yellow dog. And the one he is undercover is the Han Chen group. By the way, there was another thing that made him shudder. Chen Yongren was also under Han Chen's command. Nima. Huang Jicheng arranged for two undercover agents to be under Han Chen's command. What is this doing? From my memory, it can be seen that Ma Jichao and Huang Jicheng have not had a good relationship in recent years. Huang Jicheng has repeatedly threatened to tell Han Chen that he is an undercover agent, forcing Ma Jichao to obey orders. Within a few months, Chen Yongren appeared in Han Chen's team. So, Ma Jichao has already thought of his role. To replace the dead ghost and the scapegoat. Once intelligence is leaked, Ma Jichao will be the one who takes the blame for Chen Yongren. I'm numb. This opening is a pit. Ma Jichao was unable to roast. At this moment, ding. In the binding of the summoning system. You can spend money summoning soldiers, assassins, thugs, and technicians. Ding. Get the beginner's gift pack, prisoner gao gene warfare card. Dot. A cheat. Cowardly. Ma Jichao was pleasantly surprised. This system is much stronger than many novels that always limit the protagonist's golden finger. Ma Ji Chao, who had read too many novels in his past life, immediately thought of the many imaginative uses of this golden finger. For example, heroes saving beauty for example, kidnapping and extortion for example, planting and framing um, I'm sorry, I accidentally exposed my true nature. No way, Mr. Ma, but I am a gentleman and a great person. Never do anything illegal or disorderly. He 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 jia 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 jia. Dingling bell at this moment, Ma Jichao's phone rang. Hello, Ah Chao, 
Grandma is cooking a big meal tonight. Are you coming back for dinner? Ma Jichao was momentarily stunned by the sound, but quickly realized that in his memory, it was Huang Zhicheng's voice. This is the rhythm of preparing to contact undercover agents. Go back for dinner. I happen to have time. Okay, then wait for you to come back. Hang up the phone. Ma Jichao sneered and said that Han Chen was going to start a big business recently. Huang Zhicheng probably received some information from Qin Yongren and wanted to inquire about the details with his confidant, Han Chen. As agreed, at 2 p.m., the two of them will meet on the rooftop of Mingxing Commercial Building in Yao Tsim Mong. Huang Zhicheng, Huang Zhicheng, if you don't die this time, who will die? Ma Jichao opened the system, prepared to exchange soldiers, and killed Huang Zhicheng. Result money 437 Hong Kong dollars, minimum requirement for summoning is 10,000 Hong Kong dollars, Ma Jichao. Shit. So the clown is himself. Ma Jichao is so angry that he wants to hit someone. As a henchman of Han Chen, a wealthy businessman who dominates one third of Hong Kong Island, he only has 437 Hong Kong dollars in savings. Who can believe it? 437 yuan, I can't even exchange it for a killer. Garbage. Ma Jichao thought for a moment and called Huang Jicheng. I'm sure I have some good news to tell you, but I have a condition. What conditions? Return. It's impossible, you can switch to other conditions. What conditions can be as important as this? It was agreed that it would be three years, and then three years later. Three years later, almost ten years, big brother. Ma Jichao exclaimed in a fit of anger, saying that the best actor at the Golden Statue Awards was missing a little golden statue from him. Can you treat me well? I am the only one in Hong Kong who has your information now. But I promise you that once I handle this matter, I will return to you immediately. Huang Jicheng cursed. Ding. Emotional value plus three. System description. Emotional value, only produced for main film and television plot characters, emotional value of 10,000 plus HKD 10 million, can summon a top boss team, special items, and powerful skills. Lost. How many times have I said this, I don't believe it. Forget it, let's change the terms. Say, what do you want? 100,000 yuan. Recently, I fell in love with a woman who spends a lot of money. I only have over 400 yuan in my hands. Isn't it? How much does it cost to make a woman like that? Ding. Emotional value plus 5. Do you give it or not? Number 100000, 1000 yuan is enough. 1000 yuan. Sending beggars. After several phone conversations, the two finally settled on an information fee of 20,000 yuan. Hang up the phone. Ma Jichao chuckled lightly. On the other side, Yao Tsim Mong police station, Huang Jicheng started writing applications. He was very dissatisfied with Ma Jichao's opportunity to extort, but fortunately, he didn't have to pay for it. He could apply for an informant fee, as long as he could catch Han Chen, perform meritorious deeds, and be promoted, any informant fee would be a small matter. After three hours, the rooftop of Yao Tsim Mong Ming Hing commercial building. Ma Jichao stood on the rooftop, gazing into the distance. Yao Tsim Mong, as the closest place between Kowloon and Hong Kong Island, is surrounded by the sea on three sides and has a Hung Hong tunnel in the middle leading to the Hong Kong Island area. With unique geographical conditions and extremely prosperous commerce, there is a dense flow of people coming and going. The first step in my future business map is here. At this moment, step by step the sound of leather shoes walking came from behind. Ma Jichao turned around and saw Huang Jichen with a foul-smelling face, holding an envelope in his hand. Here you are, 20,000 yuan. I finally managed to apply. Huang Zhicheng said with great dissatisfaction. Anyway, it's not your money. Why are you in a hurry? 
Ma Jichao casually put the money into his pocket. Ma Jichao, what's your current attitude? Have you forgotten your identity? You're a police officer. Which police officer needs informant fees to handle a case? Huang Jicheng scolded very displeased. I don't know if he's wasting his energy applying for this money. Ding. Emotional value plus five. Police. Is there a police officer as embarrassed as me? I fight with people every day, and in my dreams, I say, put down your gun, I'm a police officer. Is that right? Can you treat me well? Now only I know your identity in Hong Kong. I will delete your profile when I go back, and you won't have to worry anymore if you go back to be a puzzle boy. Dot. This time, Huang Zicheng is a real threat. Ding! Emotional value plus three. He is really angry at Ma Jichao's carefree attitude. Do you still have the consciousness of being a subordinate of a police officer? Yes, just obediently obey orders. Extremely welcome. Ma Jichao sneered. When will Han Chen ship the goods? Huang Jicheng said with a foul expression Ma Jichao. This week. Huang Jicheng, where is the warehouse? Ma Jichao said, it should be in an abandoned warehouse near Huang Park. Ma Jichao's face was serious, as if what he said was true. Huang Jicheng believes it to be true. After all, there's no undercover agent who dares to joke about this. Okay, I'm waiting for good news. Huang Jicheng's face relaxed and he finally felt a little better. All right, there's nothing wrong, I'll withdraw first. Huang Jicheng didn't look back and left directly. Slow down. Ma Jichao smiled and waved goodbye. At the same time, Ma Jichao opened the recording software on his phone. Click on, here you are, 20,000 yuan. I finally managed to apply for it. Anyway, it's not your money. Why are you in a hurry? Ma Jichao, what's your current attitude? Have you forgotten your identity? You're a police officer. Which police officer still needs informant fees to handle a case? I just recorded most of what I said to Huang Jicheng. This, keep it as a trump card for now. There will be no way out then, you can take it out to block the disaster. Then he opened the summoning system. Summon two assassins. Huang sir, I spent your money on the person who killed you. I hope you don't be ignorant. Note 1. In 1983, many book friends complained, but I simply changed it to 1993, end of this chapter. Chapter 2. Boss Han Chen, I am a loyal minister. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2, 2, Han Chen, I am a loyal minister. Huang Jicheng cursed and left the rooftop, thinking to himself that when Han Chen was caught, he must deal with Ma Jichao, the stabbing head, harshly. He got off the rooftop and arrived at the top floor elevator. Press the elevator down button. I waited for three minutes. The elevator has finally arrived. In the elevator car, there stood a man in black, dressed in a suit and sunglasses, with a cool appearance and a foul odor emanating from his body. Experienced Huang Jicheng suddenly became alert, this person is probably a criminal. Is there a case? However, he didn't bring a gun and didn't dare to show it immediately. Instead, he prepared to wait for the call team to investigate together. At this moment, the man in black walked out of the elevator car and brushed past Huang Zicheng. Huang Zicheng walked into the elevator. Just as the elevator door was about to close, suddenly, a suit hand blocked the elevator door and it reopened. The man in black walked in again. And behind him, there was a man in black who followed in. Two people in black arrived on both sides of Huang Jicheng. The elevator is closed. Downstairs, Ma Jichao walked out of the gate of the building and headed outside. All the way to the main road, suddenly. A black shadow fell from a height, boom. Coincidentally, it hit the roof behind Ma Jichao and was a human corpse. 
and it looks very familiar wearing it. The clothes are exactly the same as those of Huang Zhicheng. Ma Jichao turned around and happened to see Huang Zhicheng dying with his eyes turned to his own. At this moment, Ma Jichao brewed his emotions and prepared for a burst of Chen Yongren style acting. The result is brewing, brewing, damn, sad, but I can't help but want to laugh. Mad, next time you must exchange for an acting skill. I can't even recreate the famous scenes. Ma Jichao cursed and cursed. Then he left without looking back. Some of the surrounding citizens were frightened and retreated, some couldn't help but watch, and some called the police. The scene was chaotic. Quickly, police officers from Tsim Sha Sui police station rushed to the scene. When I saw Huang Jicheng's face, I exploded on the spot. It's yellow sir. Quick, block this building and check all those who have left. Call the director, something big is happening. Something really happened. Huang Zhicheng's police rank is at the level of superintendent, but now he has been thrown off the rooftop in broad daylight and died without closing his eyes. This is definitely something that the entire Hong Kong police force is extremely angry about. In less than 20 minutes, the news was reported layer by layer, and the police officer knew about it. Anger. Order a thorough investigation. At this moment, TVB journalist Le Huijian and ATV journalist Fong Siwei also arrived at the scene, extremely excited. Big news. In a taxi, Ma Jichao quieted down at this moment and only then did he see the system prompt. Emotional value is 34 points, what did this thing come from? When I see the system description, I'm at a loss. I knew I would tease Huang Jicheng more. Looking at the emotional value of only 34 o'clock, Ma Jichao sighed with a pinch of his wrist. But after thinking about it, Huang Jicheng is just a time bomb. It's better to die early. It doesn't matter if the undercover information is obtained by the police after Huang Jicheng's death. Just take out Han Chen first. So, the next step is to quickly solve Han Chen. This is easy. Hong Kong Island is such a small place that it cannot accommodate so many bad people. Send them to God. I, Ma Jichao, have a kind heart and cannot bear to see citizens in dire straits. Ringing bells, at this point, Ah Chao, where are you? Han Chen's unique voice appeared on the phone. Boss, I'm in the car now. I just finished my meal and I'm ready to go back, Ma Jichao replied. Okay. Hang up the phone. After thinking for a moment, he clicked on the system reward, Warden Gao Jin Combat Power Card. Who is Gao Jin? That's the almost KO Muay Thai King Jitoni plus Wolf Warrior King in Wolf Slayer 2. The combat effectiveness is naturally very terrifying. He hasn't had time to use this card. He originally wanted to find a quiet place to use it, but now he's going to see the cunning and poisonous Han Chen, so he naturally needs to use it to ensure his safety. Use. Bomb. Moment Ma Jichao only felt that his body had undergone a sudden change, as if reborn, an explosive force surged all over my body. In addition, various combat experiences constantly flood into the mind and body, as if they are about to turn into physical instincts. However, in just a few seconds, Ma Jichao's body underwent unimaginable changes. This feeling is so refreshing. Ma Jichao felt that his combat effectiveness was soaring like rocket speed. Rebirth and transformation. Breaking the cocoon into a butterfly. Ma Jichao instinctively clenched his fist, feeling like he could kill Han Chen with just one punch. Half an hour later, Ma Jichao arrived inside a dilapidated building. This is one of Han Chen's dozens of temporary dens. Enter the door. Han Chen is inside, in addition, there are three other confidants, Dilu, Silkiang, and Chen Yongren, all present. Boss. Ah Chao, come here. Han Chen greeted with a smile. Ma Jichao, Dilu, Silkiang, and Chen Yongren stood in front of Han Chen. Han Chen's smiling eyes roamed in front of the four of them. Dilu, 
How many years have you been with me? Seven years. Silly Chong, what about you? Boss, I don't know how I remember this, said Silly Chong with his iconic silly smile. Five years, you have been with me for five years. Ah Ren, what about you? Three years, or four years. Ah Chao, what about you? Boss, 3557 days and 13 hours. I remember it clearly in my heart. Ma Jichao replied with a serious expression on his face. Han Chen. Dot. Chen Yongren, Di Lu, and Sha Chang said, Dot. Even Han Chen, who was originally planning to say the next sentence, was stunned at this moment and forgot what to say next. I asked you to speak for a few years, but I didn't ask you to speak out all your hours. Ma Jichao said affectionately, Boss, I used to be just a small antique boy, not even a blue lantern. It was you who took me in and didn't make me hungry. Han Chen was reminded by Ma Jichao, and his face began to soften. He, it shouldn't be an undercover agent. Then he turned his fierce gaze on Chen Yongren, Silkiang, and Dilu in an instant. Last time I received a message that the batch of goods from South Vietnam had an accident, it was because I had an extra mole around me. You four are my most trusted subordinates. Ah Chao, do you think you are an undercover agent? Boss, please rest assured that I will definitely not be an undercover agent. In ten years, when have I ever done anything wrong? Ma Jichao's eyes were bright and he met Han Chen, candid and without any modesty. Nonsense, I killed Huang Jichen. Why should I feel guilty? I am a big loyal minister. Han Chen looked at Ma Jichao's frank and clear eyes, instantly dispelling most of his doubts about him. Ah Chao, trustworthy. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Kidnapping Han Chen You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 3, 3, Kidnapping Han Chen Han Chen's gaze swept over Ma Jichao, staring closely at Di Lu's gaze. Di Lu, who do you think would be that undercover agent? Chen, I don't know. Is that so? Then, Han Chen looked at Silly Chang and said, Silly Chang, if I find an inner ghost, it's your good brother. Do you dare to kill him? Of course I dare, said Silly Chang with a silly smile finally, Han Chen's gaze turned to Chen Yongren and he stared intently, Aaron, are you an undercover agent? Chen Yongren's heart skipped a beat, but on the surface, he remained unmoved and tugged at the corner of his mouth, Chen, don't joke, how could I possibly be an undercover agent? Han Chen chuckled and said, yes, how could you possibly be an undercover agent? After asking, Han Chen asked Ma Ji Chao, Chao, do you think if one of the four of you is an undercover agent, who is the most suspicious? Ma Ji Chao thought for a moment and said, I think being an undercover agent must be very unhappy. I have been suffering all day, and my whole person should be quite gloomy. Chin Yongren. Dot. Emotional value plus 10. Isn't that what he's talking about? Among all the people, he had a melancholic expression on his face. And Han Chen was also staring at Chen Yongren at this moment. Chen Yongren's emotional value plus 10. Ma Jichao's eyes lit up, and the opportunity to collect will came. He continued, of course, it could also be inner turmoil, and on the surface, one can only disguise oneself with ferocity. Dilu. Dot. Emotional value plus 10. Ma Jichao almost engraved, it's me, on his face. Then Ma Jichao changed his tone and said, there is another possibility, which is to pretend to be foolish, even though you are very smart. Silly Chang. Dot. Emotional value plus 10. At Ma Jichao's words, Han Chen squinted his eyes and scanned towards Di Lu, Silly Chang, and Chin Yongren. Melancholy, pretending to be fierce, pretending to be foolish. It's all possible. Indeed, these three people are the most suspicious. On the contrary, Ma Jichao appears relatively loyal and is unlikely to be an undercover agent. Ha ha ha, Han Chen burst out laughing and said with a smile, 
don't worry, I'm just joking. You're all my confidants, how could you be undercover agents? But his statement did not give Chen Yongren and the three of them any sense of security, because they all knew that their Chen brother, Han Chen, was a ruthless character who might suddenly become violent and want to kill you at some point. A crisis has come to an end, Ma Jichao gains 30 emotional points. Han Chen has always been a disaster, it's better to kill him first. However, the manpower is not enough. Han Chen knows that he is being investigated by the police all day long, and his drug powder accounts for one dot third of the market in Hong Kong, so he always takes many people with him when he goes out, and he also has many guns. It seems that we can only continue to summon manpower. Open the system, 418 yuan. Impoverished. Chen Gu. Ma Jichao looked at Han Chen, who was about to leave, and said, Brother Chen, I want to borrow some money from you. Han Chen turned around and said, What's wrong? Ma Jichao smiled bitterly and said, Recently, I lost my horse bet and basically ran out of money, so I want to borrow 100,000 from you for now. Next time, you can deduct my money directly. Ma Jichao was originally a deep enthusiast of horse racing, often running horses there, which is also one of the reasons for his poverty. Han Chen didn't doubt him and smiled, no problem. He generously took out 200,000 yuan from the safe in the room and handed it to Ma Jichao. 100000 is too little, 200000 is fine. But bet less on horses and learn to restrain yourself. Ma Jichao's eyes lit up. And this good thing. I used to summon ten assassins and was a bit afraid I wouldn't be able to kidnap you. Now that there are twenty assassins, there should be no problem. Thank you, Brother Chen. You're welcome. Just then, a little brother rushed in and said a word. Chen, TV News, Huang Jicheng is dead. As soon as these words are spoken, the faces of several people in the room suddenly changed. Han Chen, Di Lu, and Silly Chang are happy. But Chen Yongren was shocked and panicked. Turn on the TV. Turn on the TV, the news about Huang Zhicheng is being reported on TVB TV. According to our reporter's understanding, there were no innocent citizens injured in the jumping incident that occurred in the Upper Ring Road building. Our station has received confirmation from the police force that the deceased was Detective Huang Zhichen from the Organized and Triad Investigation Department, and the motive for the action is unknown. The police do not rule out hate killings. At present, the police have begun investigating several members of the Black Society in the Yao Tsim Mong area. The chief of police expressed deep condolences for the death of Superintendent Huang Zhichen and promised to solve the case as soon as possible. Chen Yongren watched the TV report on the death of Huang Zhicheng with lifeless eyes, his heart filled with pain and his eyes sour. And what pains him is that the principal has died, Huang Zhicheng has died, and no one really knows that he is an undercover agent now. However, at this moment he was in the enemy's nest, and he dared not express his grief. He could only conceal it with shock. Fortunately, Han Chen was too shocked, so he didn't immediately look over and observe his expression, otherwise he would really have to help out. Okay. Good death. Han Chen burst into laughter. In recent years, Huang Zhicheng has been chasing him like a crazy dog. He has long wanted to solve Huang Zhicheng, but now he has finally died. Who the hell is it? Such a great person. I must thank him well. And Dilu and Silly Chang were equally pleasantly surprised. Ma Jichao glanced at Silly Chang, his smiling face didn't seem to be pretending, it seemed that Silly Chang was indeed not an undercover agent. Huang Jicheng's death made Han Chen extremely happy. Let's go. Tonight at the nightclub, celebrate. Han Chen laughed heartily and left here with all his little brothers. And Ma Jichao has quietly opened the summoning system spending all 200,000 in one breath. Summon 20 assassins. Tonight, deal with Han Chen. Late at night, 12 o'clock. Han Chen, Ma Jichao, Di Lu, Silkiang, 
Chen Yongren and others each led their girls to the hotel opposite the nightclub and continued the second half of the battle. Not long ago, a group of assassins quietly arrived. He knocked out the little brothers guarding outside the door and broke into Han Chen's room, quickly robbing him. The whole operation was clean and tidy, and at first glance it was an experienced kidnapping expert. I left the nightclub and drove away quickly. When Chen Yongren, Di Lu, and Sha Chang learned of the news and rushed quickly, it was already five minutes later. Ma Jichao looked angry and said, Who the hell is it? He kidnapped our boss. Di Lu and Silly Chang were also shocked and anxious. Chen Yongren appeared anxious on the surface, but in his heart, besides being shocked, he was also a bit surprised. Ma Jichao said anxiously, Let's separate and take our troops to find Chen Gu. We must find him. Di Lu, Silkiang, and Chen Yongren nodded solemnly and said, Okay, let's split up and take action. They quickly left each other. While taking his younger brother to find Han Chen, Chen Yongren was thinking about how to notify the police and seize this weak moment to quickly arrest him. One hour later, in the remote suburbs, there is no human habitation, and the night is dark and the wind is high. A certain abandoned factory. A month ago, this was a meat canning factory. Later, the boss lost money and ran away, causing the equipment here to rust, but no one is taking care of it anymore. At this point, Han Chen was tied to an iron chain and hung in mid-air. And below him, it's a meat grinder. Who are you? Let me go. Han Chen was tied up in mid-air, like a short carnivorous insect. He looked at the assassins below in panic and shouted. Judging from your appearance, I don't think you have a grudge against me. Someone must have hired you, right? How much money do they give? I'll give you double. No, three times, five times, ten times is fine. Unfortunately, in the face of such promises, the assassins remained expressionless, as if watching a fool. Han Chen became even more fearful. Who the hell is it? Lin Kuan. Big D. Camels. Zhu Tao. The names of major drug lords flashed through his mind. At this moment, a Pingji car drove in outside the door. Han Chen stared fixedly at the front of the car, but because the light inside was relatively dark, he couldn't see clearly. Who the hell is it? Han Chen gritted his teeth. The car stopped, the people inside the car got off. A long leg stretched out, and then a handsome handsome guy got off the car. Ma Ji Chao. At this moment, Han Chen was stunned. Ah Chao. I feel like my head can't turn or bend for a moment. How did Ah Chao appear here? Is it? That A. Chao wants to take over. Be the boss yourself. However, a few hours ago, I was almost moved when I said something like 3,557 days and 13 hours, saying, I used to be just a small antique boy, not even a blue lantern. It was you, the boss, who took me in and didn't make me hungry. Are you stepping on a horse and playing backstab for me now? Chen, are you comfortable on top? Ma Jichao asked with a curious expression on his face. But Han Chen was already extremely angry at this moment, gritting his teeth and glaring angrily at Ma Jichao, Chao. Why did you betray me? Ma Jichao was surprised and said, Betrayal. Why betrayal? I am an undercover agent in the police. Han Chen. Dot. Then Han Cheng became even angrier and cursed, you're an undercover agent. Do you think I'll believe you? It's already this time, you're still lying to me. You just want to take over and become the boss. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Variations of the Fish Release Merit Machine You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 For Variations of the Fish Release Merit Machine Han Chen's Emotional Value Plus 20 Han Chen's emotional value plus 13. After brushing his emotional level twice in a row, Ma Jichao's eyes lit up and he looked at Han Chen as if he were looking at a treasure. 
Han Chen's output is more than Chen Yongren and his team. Ma Jichao said, actually, I'm not afraid to tell you. Not only am I an undercover agent, but also Silly Chan. His real name is Su Weiqiang. Han Chen sneered, do you think I will believe it? Ma Jichao smiled and said, by the way, let me tell you another piece of news. Chen Yongren is actually an undercover agent, Han Chen. Dot. Ma Jichao began to speak, Chen Yongren, the male servant of the NI family, was unable to become a police officer ten years ago when he was at the police academy because his father was a member of the Black Sexy Society and his brother was a member of the Black Sexy Society. Huang Jicheng then approached him and made him an undercover agent. Chen Yongren agreed and if he wanted to become a police officer, he could only become an undercover agent. Huang Jicheng As soon as Huang Jicheng was mentioned, Han Chen's face began to look bad, which was definitely his lifelong rival. I am also an undercover agent of Huang Jicheng. I was first arranged to be with you, but later I didn't want to work with him anymore, which made him very unhappy. So he approached Chen Yongren. If Chen Yongren is exposed, he can take me as a shield. Han Chen's face was extremely ugly. That is to say, out of the four confidants around me, there are actually three undercover agents. I Nima. That's outrageous. Han Chen's emotional value plus 34. Almost collapsed. Ma Jichao. By the way, there's one more thing, very coincidentally, a classmate in the same class as Chen Yongren, named Lu Jianming. Lu Jianming. Han Chen's face changed greatly and he looked at Ma Jichao in shock. Han Chen's emotional value plus 36. Ma Jichao chuckled lightly and said, Do you still remember the few words you said to a few subordinates in front of the Buddha? The fortune teller told me that my life is called one general achieving success and ten thousand bones withering. Han Chen looked as if he had seen a ghost. Han Chen's emotional value plus 36. Ma Jichao's lips were playful as he said, You have the shortest time with me, the cleanest bottom of your body, and you can choose your own path for the future. Han Chen's emotional value plus 40. Ma Jichao smiled rather than smiled and made a toast. Wishing you all the best in the police department. Cheers, officers. Han Chen's emotional value plus 45. Han Chen feels completely crazy at this moment. Who the hell are you? Why do you know all this? Ma Jichao's face became solemn, he stood at attention, and justice stood firm. I, Ma Jichao, a good police officer who is dedicated to serving the people, walk in the darkness, shoulder justice, and swear to fight against the darkness. Han Chen was furious and said, so why are you arresting me here? Just take me to the police station. Also, what kind of ghosts are you subordinates? At first glance, you're not a good person. Ma Jichao looked pitiful and said, the reason I brought you here is to conduct an experiment. Han Chen. What experiment? Ma Jichao. Do you know the merit machine for releasing fish? Han Chen. Dot. What is it? What is the merit machine for releasing fish? I understand both the separation and the connection, but I can't understand it at all. Ma Jichao shook his head and said, forget it, I'm sorry you don't understand either. After all, this is something from decades later. You just need to know that today we brought you for an experiment, don't be afraid. Then his gaze turned to the meat grinder below Han Chen. Han Chen. Dot. Looking down. The ferocious mouth of the meat grinder was like a grinding plate of flesh and blood. Shouldn't it be? My face turned pale. Han Chen's emotional value plus 60. At that moment, a pickup truck drove in, with some killed chickens, pigs, etc. in its pocket, all right, here we go. Ma Jichao pressed the power switch. Buzzing the meat grinder began to move slowly. I've seen it clearly. Ma Jichao threw the chicken into the meat grinder, and soon the chicken was swallowed. Then, behind the grinder, a puddle of meat came out. 
Han Chen witnessed all of this. Han Chen's emotional value plus 60. Next, the killer carried half of the pork and threw it into the meat grinder. Roaming and rumbling a large puddle of minced meat appeared behind the meat grinder. All right. It's your turn. Ma Jichao looked at Han Chen with a twisted and murderous face. Han Chen's emotional value plus 80. The assassin began to put down the rope that bound him and slowly lowered him towards the blood bowl of the meat grinder. Han Chen's emotional value plus 90. Han Chen's emotional value plus 90. Han Chen's emotional value plus 90. Ma Jichao's eyes lit up. Dig a groove. Surprisingly useful. It's amazing. Thanks for the creativity of the fish releasing machine provided by Lao Tai in the 21st century. System. You're still being naughty. I feel numb when I step on my horse. And what about Han Chen? At this moment, it's almost suffocating with fear. When did he encounter such a perverted punishment? Killing is nothing but nodding. At this moment, he would rather die. Han Chen shouted in fear, Ma Jichao, have the ability to kill me. As soon as he thought about his feet, calves, thighs, waist, stomach, chest, neck, and head slowly being stuffed in and crushed, it felt like he was suffocating. Ma Jichao looked serious and said, how can I do that? My experiment is not over yet. Okay, next, take turns playing with him. Yes, boss. The assassins wipe the sweat off their foreheads. They feel like assassins are considering human life to be nothing, it's twisted enough. But compared to the boss, it's still far behind. What a demon. Next, Han Chen was like fishing, constantly hanging up and down in mid-air, and even several times, his leather shoes were almost rolled up and down. He was so scared on the spot that Han Chen, who had always been ruthless and arrogant in the police station, almost burst into tears. Han Chen's emotional value plus 99. Han Chen's emotional value plus 97. Han Chen's emotional value plus 95. Han Chen's emotional value plus 92. Han Chen's emotional value plus 90. Every time the emotional value drops, give Han Chen some stimulation to reignite his emotions. Han Chen's emotional value plus 99. Han Chen's emotional value plus 97. On Ma Jichao's side, looking at the constantly refreshing emotional values, I feel like this fish releasing merit machine. No, it's a meat grinding emotional machine that's really good. Go back and find someone to customize a very aggressive looking meat grinder, specifically designed to scare people. In 10 minutes, Ma Jichao. You must die hard. Ma Ji Chao, if you have the ability, just kill me. Ma Ji Chao. Even if I were a ghost, I wouldn't let you go. In 30 minutes, wait, brother Chao. Ma Ji Chao, if you have any conditions, just tell me. Please kill me directly. In 40 minutes, Ma Ji Chao, as long as you are willing to kill me, I will agree to any conditions. I'll give you all the money. I'll give you all the lines of the white noodles. Or you can do whatever you want. Han Chen, who was originally vicious and terrifying, was tormented by Ma Jichao at this moment and almost went crazy. Ma Jichao's eyes lit up and he said, Really? Han Chen. Really, if you have any conditions, feel free to mention them. Please give me a good time. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 the Death of Han Chen You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 5 The Death of Han Chen At this point, another pickup truck brought over a live pig. The pig screamed in fear and was pushed into the meat grinder by the assassin. Quan Quan Han Chen watched as the pig was thrown into the meat grinder, screaming and clattering the hard bones were all crushed and finally spat out a pile of rotten meat. It looks like the tragedy that followed. Han Chen's emotional value plus 33. Han Chen's emotional value plus 45. Han Chen collapsed and shouted, Brother Chao, what conditions do you need to willingly kill me? 
My money, my fan stall, my property under my command. After six hours, Han Chen was released, then they signed one by one and transferred all kinds of properties, assets, and money to Ma Jichao's five loyal assassins. The total value is about 50 million yuan. This money is also too easy to earn. Wait. And where are your undercover information hidden? At. Han Chen provided an address. One hour later, Ma Jichao received several bags of information. Open it and take a look, Lu Jianming and Lin Guoping are all here. Lin Guoping, this person is determined to climb up and can be utilized effectively. Lu Jianming is a smart and capable person, but he is also dangerous. Well, you can find an intermediary to use him. Both are good tool people. Ma Jichao got everything he wanted and was very satisfied. Han Chen looked at Ma Jichao with a strange expression on his face and said, My fan, are you really not interested? Result, pop, his face was slapped directly by Ma Jichao. Didn't I tell you? I'm a bad guy. Ma Jichao looked righteous and said, Do you look down on my bad guy status? Do you think I'm a villain like you? Han Chen almost vomited blood. Are you a bad person? Am I a bad person? How did you manage to say such a shameless thing? Hey! Treading on a horse, even darker than me. God, please open your eyes. What expression are you on? Shit! Ma Jichao looked angry and said, It seems like you haven't hung him enough, right? Someone, hang him up, start over. Han Chen struggled desperately in fear and shouted, Ma Jichao, you must keep your word. I have given you both money and assets. Give me a good time. Ma Jida cursed, just because you didn't respect me just now, I won't easily let you go. Han Chen was so angry that he cursed loudly, Ma Jichao, you must die so hard. Ah. Soon, Han Chen was suspended in mid-air and began a new round of emotional manipulation. Ma Jichao looked at Han Chen, who was afraid in mid-air, and comforted him, Brother Chen, don't blame me. You are a bad person who has done so many bad things. After you die, you will definitely go to the 18th level of hell. I, Ma Jichao, a great kind-hearted person, will brush your merits first. This way, after you go to hell, the judge will definitely give you a lighter sentence. Hey, Ma Jichao, I am indeed a kind-hearted person. I like to think for others. Killers. Dot. Han Chen. Dot. Spit three liters of blood directly. You are aloof. You're amazing. Next, Han Chen's emotional value plus 84. Han Chen's emotional value plus 71. Han Chen's emotional value plus 64. Han Chen's emotional value plus 54. Han Chen's emotional value plus 45. Soon, Han Chen is tired and his emotional value has decreased significantly. Only plus 12 plus 11 plus 10 plus 9 continuously falling down. Ma Jichao saw that he had already reached over 8,000 emotional points, and there was only 2,000 left to reach 10,000 emotional points. No way. This is too little. At this moment, Ma Jichao said to the assassin subordinates, go to the pharmacy and buy some stimulants for him to use. Killers. Dot. Han Chen. Dot. Sure enough, after using the stimulant on Han Chen, he became a hero again, and his emotional state was filled with a scream. At around 8 o'clock in the morning, birds were singing outside and fish were swimming happily in the pond. Ma Jichao looked at the 10,325 emotional values on the system panel and felt happy. Hanging in mid-air, Han Chen has already become lethargic. After being tormented for a whole night, he suffered a mental breakdown and his consciousness was blurred. Ma Jichao couldn't even brush any emotional values on him. Ma Jichao waved his hand and said, Take it away, fill the sea. Killers. Yes, boss. At this point, 
the Yujian police station and the serious crime unit are currently holding a meeting. The people who came include police station leaders, superiors, leaders of the serious crime unit, and the internal investigation department, first brother, is very angry. A grand police officer was thrown from the rooftop, and the perpetrator was extremely arrogant. This is a provocation to the entire Hong Kong police force. So my elder brother instructed us to find the culprit as soon as possible and give an explanation to the police and citizens of Hong Kong. This matter will be presided over by the newly transferred head of the serious crime unit, Sheriff Wu Xiaoxiong and Wu Sir. In addition, before his death, Sheriff Huang Jicheng suspected that there was an insider inside us, and this time he was left on the rooftop, it is very likely that it was the insider who leaked the information. Therefore, colleague Lu Jianming from the Internal Investigation Department came to investigate. Also, Sheriff Huang Jicheng should have had important information left on his computer before his death, but it has now been locked with a password and cracking it will take time. This will be handled by Sir Wu. Wu Sir. Yes Sir. Lu Jianming. Yes Sir. At this moment, Han Chen's body, with a thud, wrapped in a sack, followed the stones and sank all the way to the bottom of the sea, adding bricks and tiles to the reclamation project on Hong Kong Island. Ma Jichao and Ma Sir's act of helping others is truly touching. 10 o'clock Han Chen's old nest. Organize senior management and gather them all. Ma Jichao, Di Lu, Silk Yang, Chen Yongren, all of them are here. Wu Xiaoxiong. Wu Sir is a police officer from Wind and Rain Along the Road, movie. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Summoning. Seven Brothers of Heavenly Health Preservation. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 6 Summoning. Seven Brothers of Heavenly Health Preservation. I have also looked for Brother Chen here, but I couldn't find him. Me too. In the early morning, Di Lu, Silk Yang, and Chen Yongren all worked hard, but couldn't find any trace of Han Chen. I don't know who kidnapped me. Without Han Chen as the backbone, Di Lu and Silk Yang suddenly felt a bit confused, while Chen Yongren lacked Huang Jicheng as the backbone, leaving his heart empty. Now everyone is in a mess. This meeting ended haphazardly, with everyone having their own thoughts. The meeting has ended, everyone went their separate ways and left. But Ma Jichao, without Han Chen and Huang Jicheng pressing down on him, was now feeling relaxed all over. He arrived all the way to a large shopping mall nearby. Change your life, start by changing your image. Starting from today, he will no longer be a playboy, but the son of an era that is about to stir up waves in this world. One hour later, Ma Jichao's image has undergone a major transformation. The original image of yellow hair, sighing beard residue, and floral shirt as a quirky figure has been completely replaced. I changed into a black suit, the cut fits well, and my hair was combed with a big back, making me look neat and neat. A handsome suit thug. And this kind of temperament is very different from the long-haired handsome guy popular in the 1990s. Walking in the mall can attract the attention of everyone around, especially women. Ringing bell at this moment, the assassin's younger brother under his command called. Ma Jichao answered the phone. Boss, all the assets have been disposed of. But due to the need for quick and thorough disposal, we have incurred some losses. How much is left? There are still 35 million left. Turning 50 million to 35 million is already considered good. Ma Jichao. All cash. Killer brother. Yes, all cash. Ma Jichao was satisfied and said, Okay, after you four clean up, take one million to Pengcheng on the mainland, settle down first, and avoid the limelight. Leave the remaining money to others. Yes, boss. Not long after, Ma Jichao saw one of his assassin's henchmen inside a residential building. 34 million Hong Kong dollars in cash, all of it is here. Ma Jichao activated the summoning system. Prepare to summon the top boss team. 
ordinary assassins can no longer satisfy Ma Jichao. Su Zhenyang team, exchange price of 10 Hong Kong dollars million plus 10,000 sentiment points, Wang Jianjun's team, exchange price of 10 Hong Kong dollars million plus 10,000 sentiment points, Dr. Team, Redemption. Hong Jipeng team, exchange. Xiu Gan Gao Gang, exchange. DOA Mr. Gao Gang, exchange. Tian Yangshan Seven Brothers, exchange. Artist Counterfeit Banknote Team, exchange. From the moment he received the system yesterday, Ma Jichao had already been longing for this top dot level boss team. Open it and take a look, sure enough, it's amazing. The Su Jingyang team goes without saying that Su Jingyang is the most impressive bodyguard. With him around, there is no need to worry about safety and privacy. And the Wang Jianjun team, including Wang Jianjun, his younger brother, and other Vietnam War soldier assassins, are all ruthless and ruthless individuals. The doctor team, the doctor's bomb talent, rabbits, bereaved states, and numerous elite mercenaries, are simply making an explosive profit. There are also other DOA Mr. Gao's money laundering group, Painter's Counterfeit Money Group, these are very impressive teams. It's really worth exchanging 10 million Hong Kong dollars and 10,000 emotional points for them. Which one should I choose? Each one is really impressive. After thinking for a long time, Ma Jichao ultimately chose the last option. Tian Yangshan Seven Brothers I understand everything I know. These seven brothers are ruthless characters. If it weren't for the protagonist's halo, Tian Yangshan would have killed the protagonist long ago. As for other options, although good, the current demand for Ma Jichao is not the optimal choice. Su Zhengyang's team, currently he doesn't need it. Wang Jianjun's team, his current assassin team is sufficient to handle these. The Hong Jipeng team, like the doctor team, leans towards bomb intimidation. The scene is too big, and if they accidentally drag themselves in, it's over. The counterfeit money team, his current small arm figure cannot be protected. The DOA team, the goal is still too big and he is currently unable to protect it. Xiu Gangao's team, being a former police officer, is a problem. After much thought, it is still the Tian Health team that is the safest and more suitable for oneself in the beginner stage. Exchange for the Seven Heavenly Health Brothers. Ding. Deducting 10 million Hong Kong dollars plus 10,000 emotional points. The Seven Brothers team of Heavenly Health has been summoned and is waiting outside. Identity setting. Just arrived in Hong Kong from South Vietnam and joined the host. Soon, Ma Jichao went downstairs and saw the Seven Heavenly Health Brothers. Six men and one woman. Wearing sunglasses one by one, emitting a cold aura, strangers are not close. The leader is Tian Yangshan, a ruthless and cool killer. The second one is Tian Yang Yi, with the second strongest strength. The third is Tian Yangxi, the only girl among the seven Tian Yangshan brothers. Boss. X7, okay. Ma Jichao looked at the seven of them and finally looked at Tian Yangshan, showing a satisfied smile. Next, Ma Jichao gave them some money to settle down, while Tian Yangshan and Tian Yangxi followed him. Nowadays, with the money, the pressure on my head has dissipated, and my sense of security has also increased. It's time to find a woman. He has been in this chaotic world for two days and has not tasted meat yet. It's time to find yourself a woman. Ma Jichao is not a gentleman, nor is he a moral model, nor is he a pure love warrior. He felt that since he had come to this world, he would have to shoot several goddesses to live up to this trip. He didn't want any goddesses, and he couldn't even consider anything like Lu Feng to avoid getting unclean diseases. Who should I contact? Just as Ma Jichao was searching for a hunting target, a beautiful figure suddenly appeared in his mind. When he watched the news report on the scene of Huang Jicheng's death yesterday, the journalist seemed to be the goddess of Hong Kong films. Fong Siwei Thinking of this, Ma Jichao couldn't help but feel a bit restless. Fong's thinking, that's a golden-toed family. 
the swan meat that all three generations of toads want to eat, my ancestors and grandchildren. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Wu Sir, the new boss of utilitarianism. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Wu Sir, the new boss of utilitarianism at this moment, Ma Jichao was at a nightclub, watching the people wriggling on the dance floor with Tian Yangshan and others. Unfortunately, there was no dance king scumbag present. Ringing bell just then, a phone call came in. Hello, Ma Jichao. A proud voice appeared on the other end of the phone. Foolish. Ma Jichao hung up the phone directly, although he didn't know who was on the other side of the line, his voice was filled with a strong odor that made Ma Jichao feel extremely frustrated. Ringing bell another phone call is coming. Hello, Ma Jichao. Hang up. Ringing bell hang up. Ringing bell I'll hang up again. Ma Jichao's face turned cold. Damn it, who's crazy? Wait, shouldn't it be from the police force? This taste is too similar to Huang Jicheng. On the other side, at the Yujian police station, Wu Xiaoxiong and Wu Sir also had a dark face. Punk the street. A quirky guy, dare you hang up on my phone. Dead on the street. Originally, he had someone crack Huang Jicheng's computer today. When he saw the information inside, he was simply pleasantly surprised. Lying trough. Huang Jicheng actually got two undercover agents by Han Chen's side. Is this inappropriate big golden cake placed in front of me? Thanks to the former drug lord Han Chen, thanks to the death of Sheriff Huang Jicheng. Now I, Wu Xiaoxiong, am not yet developed. Undoubtedly a leader, wise and wise, I placed a bet in advance to take over this case in the serious crime division of the Yaotsim police station. After this case is resolved, how can I, Wu Xiaoxiong, be promoted from a police officer to a senior police officer? Great. Upon this thought, Huang Jicheng was just a fool. Two undercover agents had reached the heart of Han Chen, but they couldn't even bring him down and even risk their own lives. Wu Wu it's too miserable, ha 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 now, this big bargain has been picked up by me. Wu Xiaoxiong, who was extremely happy, couldn't wait to see these two undercover agents. I made the first phone call, Ma Jichao. There's no other reason, it's just that among Ma Jichao and Chen Yongren, Ma Jichao is the most handsome. He hates people who are more handsome than him the most. As a result, Ma Jichao surprisingly hung up on his phone four times in a row. Damn it. Very good, Ma Jichao. I have the undercover information for you now. Let me see how I can manipulate you in the future. Wu Xiaoxiong gritted his teeth and held a grudge against Ma Jichao, while making another phone call. Chen Yongren. Hello, who is it? Aren't you? Grandma cooked delicious food tonight. Would it be convenient for you to go home for dinner? Wu Xiaoxiong said according to the secret code. Dot. Chen Yongren, who was on the other side of the phone, fell silent for a moment before finally saying, Convenient, see you tonight. At night, a certain rooftop. Wu Xiaoxiong tightened his windbreaker and felt a chill. Meet Chen Yongren. My name is Wu Xiaoxiong, the head of the serious crime team at the Yaotsim police station. Currently, I am handling Huang Sir's case. Chen Yongren, police officer number DPC 27149. Why choose the rooftop? Huang Sir likes it. Next time, let's make some changes and turn it into a restaurant. Are you reimbursed? Then change it to a police station, and I'll catch you inside. Dot. Chen Yongren thought for a moment and said, Maybe not, Han Chen is missing. Pup Wu Xiaoxiong spat out a mouthful of water and stared at Chen Yongren with wide eyes. What are you saying? Han Chen is missing. Unbelievable. Chen Yongren looked at the central building across from him and said, Yes, Han Chen is missing. You heard him right. Last night at a nightclub, a few people suddenly came and knocked out my little brother. They arrested Han Chen directly, 
and now there is no news. Wu Xiaoxiong. Dot. People are numb. I feel great credit for flying away like this. Han Chen is one of the great contributions. If he goes missing, he won't be able to catch him, and the credit will be lost. And Han Chen went missing last night, can Huang Jicheng's death still be pinned on Han Chen's head? That is to say, both major contributions have been lost. Mr. Wu couldn't hold his breath anymore and angrily scolded Qin Yongren, saying, Why didn't you report last night? Ah! How could you tell me such a big thing now? Qin Yongren's mood suddenly sank. He feels that this new boss may be a bit difficult to handle, and there is clearly a look of disdain towards undercover agents. Wu sir, it's not that I don't want to report, but I don't know who to report to. But I know that there is Han Chen's mole in the police station, said Qin Yongren. Mr. Wu's eyes lit up and he said, Do you have any clues about the mole? Detective the mole, this is also a credit. As long as it's a credit, I like it, Wu Xiaoxiong. Qin Yongren looked at Wu Xiaoxiong's excited eyes and his heart sank once again. This new boss, Mr. Wu, seems to be an extremely utilitarian person who looks down upon undercover agents. Chen Yongren felt that although Huang Jichen was deceitful, he would at least care about him and give himself gifts on his birthday. Whether it was a show or sincere, he could be considered thoughtful. But the person in front of him, Wu Xiaoxiong, is not without merit, but without any concern for himself. Chen Yongren felt that the future was dark. The last glimmer of luck completely disappeared. Tired. Destroy it. Wu Xiaoxiong pointed at Qin Yongren and cursed urgently, Tell me, do you know about the inner ghost? He is like this, full of contempt for these undercover agents themselves. Qin Yongren said expressionlessly, I don't know. If I had known, I had already caught the inner ghost during the last operation. This indifferent and expressionless attitude made Wu Xiaoxiong very unhappy. Qin Yongren, do you still remember the police training? Remember. Chen Yongren stood at attention. Memorize it once. Wu Xiaoxiong cursed. At this moment, Chen Yongren's eyes turned red and he shouted loudly, Today, I, Chen Yongren, am sworn in as a police officer. I am willing to wholeheartedly serve in accordance with the law, and I am willing to abide by the laws of Hong Kong Island, uphold the legal framework, enforce the law and discipline, perform my duty strictly, act impartially, do not waste or show favoritism, and absolutely obey all lawful orders from superiors. Chen Yongren has always regarded police officers as his lofty ideal in his heart, and at this moment, he feels like the passionate youth of the past. Wu Xiaoxiong rebuked, so, what's your attitude now? Are you still a police officer? Chen Yongren suppressed his frustration and complex emotions, saying, report to Mr. Wu, I am a police officer. Wu Xiaoxiong's words were sharp. Now, as my superior, I order you to cooperate with me to investigate the mole, find Han Chen, and destroy the Han Chen trafficking group. Chen Yongren stood at attention and saluted, Yes sir. Wu Xiaoxiong is satisfied. It feels like training a dog, it's really satisfying. Mad, why don't you respect me as an undercover agent? All right. Wu Xiaoxiong dropped a sentence, during this period, you need to report anything in a timely manner. Once the entire case is resolved, I will have you return to the police force. Yes. Chen Yongren knew that what Wu Xiaoxiong was saying should be true, but he doesn't seem to have the same expectations as before now. Let's go. Wu Xiaoxiong waved his hand and turned to leave. Returning to the police station, Wu Xiaoxiong gave Chen Yongren a score of 60, barely passing, and he could be a dog. He picked up the phone and dialed Ma Jichao's number. Dudu. Hey, who? Ma Jichao, tonight. Get lost. Doodle doodle, Wu Xiaoxiong looked at the phone in his hand, and his anger surged into his mind. Damn it. Okay. That's great. Ma Jichao, right. Look at me if I don't mess with you. 
Wu Xiaoxiong gave a cold and stern look and walked out to several police officers, saying, You guys, go check the location of Han Chen's confidant Ma Jichao right away. Several police officers hurriedly said, Yes sir. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Eight is great. Finally, the organization has arrived. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 8 is great. Finally, the organization has arrived. Not long after, the police officers found the location of Ma Jichao to Wu Xiaoxiong. A Western restaurant. Oh, it's quite pretentious. Without saying a word, Wu Xiaoxiong put on a suit, wore a gun and handcuffs, and drove away from the police station with a cold face. Run towards Ma Jichao's location. In a western restaurant, the sound of the piano echoed in the restaurant, with gentlemen and ladies sitting and eating dinner. Ma Jichao ordered a steak and started eating it. Tian Yangshan and Tian Yangxi cautiously inspected the surroundings while eating. It must be said that they couldn't stand western cuisine, and if it weren't for Ma Jichao's desire to eat large pieces of beef steak, they wouldn't have chosen this place. Ma Jichao was eating while thinking about what to do next. He definitely won't touch the poison powder channel. But Han Chen, this mountain top, he wants to touch his fingers, so it will be convenient for him to do things in the future. In addition, the emotional value of the system is of great use, and we need to find a way to increase it. Sir, the lemon tea you ordered. A beautiful waiter walked up to Ma Jichao with a cup of lemon tea, interrupting his thoughts. Ma Jichao looked at the waitress and was stunned for a moment. She resembles a family of golden toads. Ma Jichao. Pretty girl, what's your name? The female waitress smiled professionally and said, Sir, I'm sorry, it's not convenient to disclose my name during work. But at this point, Ma Jichao also roughly guessed who this waitress was. Zhou Wenli, the heroine in The Wind and Rain Are on the Same Road, is dressed almost identically, with big curly hair. Ma Jichao. Are you called Zhou Wenli? Zhou Wenli hesitated for a moment and said, How did you know? Ma Jichao smiled and said, It's easy to ask, after all, you're so beautiful. Do you know a person named Alung? Alan. I don't know you. Zhou Wenli walked away coolly, holding the plate. Ma Jichao smiled lightly and didn't expect Fang Siwei to see Zhou Wenli instead. At this point, Ma Jichao's gaze suddenly caught sight of the restaurant entrance and he walked in alone. Poor guy. I've been a quirky guy for ten years, and I can tell at a glance what a bad guy looks like. Then Ma Jichao saw the person scanning around and finally his gaze turned to himself, as if he had a deep hatred, and he walked straight over. Wu Xiaoxiong's emotional value plus 10. Ma Jichao. Dot. Is there something wrong with this person? Cautious Ma Jichao opened the recording without saying a word. Wu Xiaoxiong saw Ma Jichao leisurely eating western food, and when he thought of not answering his phone and scolding him, he suddenly exploded with anger. Make sure to give Ma Jichao a push. He coldly picked up the handcuffs from his waist. Quickly walked to Ma Jichao's side. Take out the police officer's certificate. Ma Jichao, I am Wu Xiaoxiong from the Serious Crime Division of the Yaotsim Police Station. There is a case that requires you to go back to the police station with me and accept an investigation. Bang Tian Yangshan and Tian Yangxi suddenly stood up and looked fiercely at Wu Xiaoxiong. Wu Xiaoxiong suddenly felt an extreme danger, his scalp exploding, but soon he became angry and felt threatened. You too. Take out your ID cards, I suspect you are involved in a case. Hello, sir. Ma Jichao sneered, his eyes full of disdain. Don't think that having a police officer certificate is enough to dominate. We are legal citizens and good citizens. The guests and waiters around were all gossiping and watching. Looking at Wu Xiaoxiong. At this moment, Wu Xiaoxiong realized that his current focus was on cleaning up Ma Jichao, rather than making unnecessary mistakes. He glanced at Ma Jichao and said coldly, Ma Jichao, 
the confidant of the drug lord Han Chen. Do you mean to say you are a legitimate citizen? A good citizen. Just your file has been piled up several meters high at the Yao Tsim police station. Now I command you to immediately follow me back to the police station and accept investigation. Ma Jichao sneered, Sir Wu, since you all say I have so many cases, why am I still sitting here? Is it because you don't have enough evidence? Wu Xiaoxiong said coldly, if you don't leave, then don't blame me for being impolite. He picked up the handcuffs and directly pulled them onto Ma Jichao's wrist. As a result, Ma Jichao's speed was faster, quickly grabbed the blade with bare hands, clicked directly, handcuff Wu Xiaoxiong's wrist, and handcuff him. Wu Xiaoxiong's face changed and he said, Do you dare to resist arrest? Angry Wu Xiaoxiong waved his fist at Ma Jichao without saying a word. Having received special training in England, he naturally had extremely strong fighting skills and simply swung his fist directly at Ma Jichao who was close at hand. He wants to give Ma Jichao a hard lesson. As a result, Ma Jichao is stronger than him. Bang a punch hit Wu Xiaoxiong directly on the bridge of his nose. At this point, Ma Jichao probably guessed that Wu Jixiong was the police officer who took over the Huang Jichen case. Perhaps Wu Jixiong had already known his undercover information. This time Wu Jixiong came here, he is likely preparing to meet him. But. Wu Jixiong's imposing and questioning demeanor at first glance doesn't seem like a good person. So, Ma Jichao might as well find a reason to beat up Wu Xiaoxiong first, after all, after the showdown, he won't have this opportunity. Wu Xiaoxiong was heavily punched in the nose, and he suddenly felt his nose sour, and tears welled up in his eyes. A moment of carelessness, no flash. Ah uh, ah, uh, Wu Xiaoxiong covered his nose and blood flowed out. He was furious. He, who has always been an elite member of the royal police, has never suffered such humiliation. Wu Xiaoxiong's emotional value plus 20. Poking the street, dare to attack the police. Wu Xiaoxiong charged forward again, intending to use his strong fighting ability to capture Ma Jichao. As a result, Bang Bang being beaten three times by Ma Jichao and then punched twice in the eye socket, resulting in dark circles under the eyes. Coupled with a nosebleed's nose, it was simply embarrassing. Now, Wu Xiaoxiong became even more angry and driven. Wu Xiaoxiong's emotional value plus 20. He directly pulled out his gun and aimed it at Ma Jichao. Stop, raise your hand. Isn't that right? A uh, sir. If you can't win, just pull out your gun. Ma Jichao looked contemptuous. Raise your hand. Okay, I'll raise my hand. At the signal of Ma Jichao, Tian Yangshan and Tian Yangxi did not act without authorization, but stood on the side. Click click Ma Jichao's hands were handcuffed. Wu Xiaoxiong sneered and said, let's go back to the police station with me. Ma Jichao cooperated immensely and said, no problem. Then he said to Tian Yangxi, go find a lawyer and say that I was beaten by police officers and arrested. I need his help with legal protection. Tian Yangxi. Okay, boss. Wu Xiaoxiong. Dot. He originally planned to go back and do a good job of lynching Ma Jichao. But if the lawyer is present, he won't be able to do so. Shit. Treading on a horse is truly unbearable. Wu Xiaoxiong suppressed his anger and led Ma Jichao onto the road, getting into the police car. Close the car door. Take a deep breath and calm down your anger. Since there is no way to deal with Ma Jichao in the same way that the police deal with criminals, then use the method of treating subordinates with superiors to deal with Ma Jichao. Wu Xiaoxiong said seriously, Ma Jichao, police officer number 325361. Ma Jichao's face changed drastically and he said, how did you know? Wu Xiaoxiong felt immediately comfortable when he saw Ma Jichao's color change. Let's have a showdown. I am your boss. Hurry up and be obedient to me. Wu Xiaoxiong's gaze was deep, with a compassionate expression. 
Ma Jichao, Detective Huang Jicheng has died in his job, and I am the leader of the new serious case team who took over his work. I obtained your police officer files from his computer. So from today on, I will be your boss. Upon hearing this, Ma Jichao immediately grasped Wu Xiaoxiong's hands with both hands, feeling extremely excited. Great. Finally, the organization has arrived. Wu Sir, you don't know how scared and uneasy I have been since the death of Sheriff Huang. I'm afraid that no one will know my police officer files anymore, and I'm afraid that I'll be a fool for the rest of my life. It's really great that you're here, I can finally return to the police force. He held Wu Xiaoxiong's hand, trembling with excitement. Wu Xiaoxiong. Dot. I always feel like something's not quite right. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Undercover. There's no such thing as an undercover agent. They are all criminals. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9, 9, Undercover. There's no such thing as an undercover agent. They are all criminals. Seeing Ma Jichao's expression of wanting to return to the police force immediately, Wu Xiaoxiong felt that Ma Jichao should be easy to handle. Ma Jichao. Sir. Don't worry, as long as you handle Han Chen's case, I will definitely let you return to the police force. Wu Xiaoxiong, with a pair of black circles under his eyes and a bleeding nose, suppressed his anger and deceived Ma Jichao. Really? That's great. Ma Jichao was extremely excited. Wu Xiaoxiong said, I wanted to ask what happened to Han Chen. Why did he go missing? Ma Jichao shook his head and said, I don't know either. That night we were at a nightclub, and I was holding on to a big ocean horse, showing off. Wu Xiaoxiong. Dot. Who wants to hear this from you? Shit. I envy you so much. I dare not do this openly just for a promotion and salary increase. Ma Jichao didn't say much about Deang Ma, but went straight to the main topic. Then my little brother told us that Han Chen was arrested. Then our four confidants quickly took my little brother to find someone, but couldn't find them. Do you think the death of Sheriff Huang has anything to do with Han Chen? There should be, after all, Sheriff Huang has been staring at Han Chen. Han Chen has long wanted to kill Sheriff Huang. Next, Wu Xiaoxiong asked some more questions, and the answers were similar to those of Chen Yongren. Now he is in a difficult position. There is no breakthrough in the case. If Han Chen doesn't appear for a day, he won't be able to achieve great success. Ringing bell just then, Ma Jichao's phone rang, it was Silly Chang. Ah Chao, it's not good, Chen Gu is dead. Silly Chang shouted in panic. What? Chen Gu is dead. Ma Jichao was surprised. What? Han Chen is dead. Wu Xiaoxiong was surprised. Ma Jichao was shocked and asked, what's going on? Silly Chang. Brother Chao, I just received a video, and Brother Chen was directly thrown into the sea by a masked person. Not only me, but also Dilu and Chen Yongren have received it. Ma Jichao remained calm and said, this is a big trouble. Silly and panicked, yes, we're in big trouble. And just now, I checked and found out who has sold all of Chen's assets. Ma Jichao was even more surprised. It's impossible. Silly Chang said, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to run too. I made an appointment with Qi Shi on a boat, and now I'll take a boat from Huangshu Wharf to leave. That's it. See you later. Ma Jichao. Going to Thailand. Silly Chang. I dare not go. And at this point, Silly Chang had already taken the money and headed to the shallow water beach to take a boat, but hurriedly fled. As for what, Seven Joys, and what, Huangshu Wharf, are. His name is Silly Chang, but he's not really foolish. That was something he deliberately used to confuse others, betraying his brother in the face of a disaster, which is very normal. On Ma Jichao's side, not long after hanging up with Silly Chang, Dilu also called, 
meaning the same thing. Tell me what pier to go to and where to go. Of course, Ma Ji Chao doesn't believe any of Dilu's words. Inside the car, Wu Xiaoxiong is numb. What a ghost. Han Chen is dead, and both of his confidants are about to run away. How can we close this case if we all run away? Catch the kitten and puppy, and say this is the leader of Han Chen's white noodle group. The killer of Sheriff Huang. If he really dares to do this, the truth will come out and he will die a miserable death. Mad. I originally thought that Chen Yongren and Ma Jichao, two trusted undercover agents, had a great opportunity to make great achievements. As a result, reality gave him a big tease. No, go to Yellowstone Wharf immediately and intercept that silly guy. And that Dilu, we also need to stop it quickly. Wu Xiaoxiong thought of a rescue plan at the first time, but Han Chen did not catch it. It can be considered as an explanation that Di Lu and Silly Chang caught it. Ma Jichao suggested, and Chen Yongren, we also need to catch him quickly. Wu Xiaoxiong. Dot. Almost suffocated an internal injury. Wu Xiaoxiong said, you get off the car first, and we can chat next time when you have time. He was no longer in the mood to teach Ma Jichao a lesson, so he hurried back to the headquarters to find his former boss and mobilize all the Aji guys in Hong Kong to pursue Di Lu and Silly Chang. Bang Ma Jichao looked at Wu Xiaoxiong's taillights and curled his lips. Open your phone and start recording software. Play. Ma Jichao, police officer number 325361. How did you know? Ma Jichao, Sheriff Huang Zhicheng died while on duty, and I am the leader of the new serious case team who took over his work. I obtained your police officer files from his computer. So from today on, I will be your boss. Great. Finally, the organization has arrived. Sir Wu, you don't know how scared I have been since the death of Sheriff Huang. I'm afraid that no one will know about my police officer files anymore, and I'm afraid that I'll be a fool for the rest of my life. It's really great that you're here, I can finally return to the police force. Don't worry, as long as you handle Han Chen's case, I will definitely let you return to the police force. Another recording is in hand. As an undercover agent, Ma Jichao is always prepared to have his files deleted. If one's files are really deleted and there is no evidence to prove one's identity, then what one has been doing with Han Chen in the past decade is not cracking down on crime, but truly committing it. Wu Xiaoxiong doesn't seem like a good person at first glance, so Ma Jichao naturally needs to be steady in his work. Wait. It seems like we can rely on this to get things done. A plan gradually formed in Ma Jichao's mind. In the next few days, Aji, Yujian's serious case team, and intelligence investigation department have carried out sweeping operations on all places and related criminals under Han Chen's banner. The entire martial arts world knows that Han Chen has died, and his power is over. However, the Yao Tsim Heavy Crime Unit, which was supposed to be happy for destroying the largest trading group in Hong Kong, is now shrouded in dark clouds. Office of the Head of the Serious Case Team Wu Xiaoxiong's face was gloomy. Di Lu, I didn't catch you. Silly Chang, didn't catch it. Han Chen is dead. This case, although the police dismantled the largest drug trafficking group in Hong Kong. But the real leader was not caught at all. Ringing bells, the phone rings. Who? Wu Xiaoxiong, you idiot, dog shit. Why haven't you caught a leader of the Han Chen group so far? A police officer even died. And how do you want our police to explain to the whole Hong Kong citizens? Such a big case, such a big credit, you messed up everything when you stepped on the horse. Are you a useless person? Even a stupid pig is not as stupid as you. The foreign boss gave Wu Xiaoxiong a fierce scolding, indicating that the foreign boss was very dissatisfied with Wu Xiaoxiong's performance this time. Wu Xiaoxiong stood, bent over and half bowed to answer the phone, feeling very humble. I'm sorry, Director Smith. I've only been taking over the case for less than two days, 
and the situation hasn't been figured out yet. Han Chen died, and then two of his four subordinates ran away. Mr. Smith, a foreigner, angrily scolded, and there are two more people. Wu Xiaoxiong hesitated slightly and said, but they are undercover agents. Upon hearing this, the foreigner became even angrier and said, you are indeed a piece of dog shit, idiot. You don't even take advantage of such good conditions. What's the use of me asking you for? Undercover. There's no such thing as an undercover agent. Wu Xiaoxiong's eyes lit up and he said, Yes, Director Smith, I was wrong. There are no undercover agents at all. They are all criminals. The crime is heinous. Mr. Yang is now satisfied and says, I will handle it immediately. I will see the news tomorrow morning. Also, I will cooperate with the Public Relations Department to promote it to you. Don't let me down. Wu Xiaoxiong quickly bowed and bowed, no problem. It must be done. Hang up. Wu Xiaoxiong opened his computer, which contained the only police officer file evidence of Chen Yongren and Ma Jichao. Heart wrenching. Click. Completely delete. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Corner Force. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10, 10, Wrestling These Days, The Police Are Sweeping the Han Chen Group. But Ma Jichao and Chen Yongren both hid and did not show their faces. However, Ma Jichao felt something was wrong these past few days because Wu Xiaoxiong had never called him. Ma Jichao held an Apple Daily newspaper in his hand, which reported a news article. The police remained silent. Is the Han Chen case a great success or is it a complete failure? In the newspaper, a comprehensive analysis of the police's achievements in the Han Chen case was conducted, including how many people were arrested and how many fans were captured. It can be said that the results were fruitful. But the newspaper also mentioned that the leader Han Chen had died, and all four confidants were not caught, which can be said to be a failure of their efforts. There's a problem. Ma Jichao thought for a moment and called Chen Yongren. Hello, Brother Chao. Ah Ren. At this moment, Chen Yongren stayed in a residential building, with his chin covered in stubble and eating instant noodles. Last time, Silly Chang asked him if he wanted to leave together, but he was an undercover agent and nothing would happen, so he refused. On the table, there was a stack of today's Oriental Daily, with the headline on the front page reading, Truth. The high dot level executives of Han Chen Group have fled, and the police are powerless. The report said that Silly Chang and Dilu ran away, but I didn't see any news from Ma Jichao. Just like myself. Yes. Just like myself. Brother Chao, have you left Hong Kong Island? Ah Ren, when you're in this situation, don't pretend. Chen Yongren, we're all undercover agents. Chen Yongren's face suddenly changed and he said, What? Are you an undercover agent? My heart surged. Ma Jichao said, That's right, I'm an undercover agent, my boss Wang Jichen, but unfortunately, he died. Chen Yongren's face changed again, but his heart also began to doubt. What the hell? Your boss is also Mr. Huang. Huang's sir surprisingly arranged two undercover agents here with Han Chen. How much hatred does this have towards Han Chen? And Chen Yongren also had a mixed mood. He thought he was Huang Jicheng's treasure, but now someone tells him that Huang Jicheng has another treasure. Too hasty. Ma Jichao's voice continued to ring, I saw on the news that there was no news about you. I estimate that you should also be an undercover agent. Who is your boss? Chen Yongren. Dot. Silence fell. Ma Jichao said, forget it, it doesn't matter if you don't say it. But the situation is not right now. My new boss, Wu Xiaoxiong, looks like a selfish person who enjoys taking credit. Chen Yongren. Dot. Wu Xiaoxiong. Isn't this my new boss? Now it's confirmed that Ma Jichao may really be an undercover agent. If he weren't an undercover agent, 
he wouldn't have discovered Wu Xiaoxiong so quickly. Ma Jichao said, Now, Brother Chen is dead, and Silk Yang and Di Lu have run away, leaving only the two of us. The police need an explanation, and the citizens need an explanation. Do you think they will blame us? Chen Yongren fell silent. Just now, while he was reading the newspaper, he also had this idea. Ah Chao, what do you say to do? At this moment, Chen Yongren also panicked. Ma Ji Chao. We need evidence to prove that we are undercover police officers. Because once the other party deletes our police officer files, we will always be criminals, not undercover agents. But I don't have any evidence on hand, I don't know if you have it. Chen Yongren shook his head and said, I don't have it. Chen Yongren never expected the situation to develop to this extent, so he was never on guard. Ma Jichao said, we don't have either of us, so we should work together and get this evidence. Chen Yongren. How do I get it? Ma Jichao said, the quickest and most direct way is to record. Call Wu Xiaoxiong and get the recording. If you can't get it, then find another way. You call first and see if you can find a chance. Then I'll call again and try again. Chen Yongren nodded and said, Okay. Ma Jichao. Bless us, escape this difficulty, and return to the police force. Chen Yongren. Ah Chao. Ma Jichao. What's going on? Chen Yongren. Thank you. Ma Jichao. You're welcome, they're all fallen people from the ends of the earth, they're all brothers. Chen Yongren. Yes, they are all brothers. Ma Jichao said, if you successfully overcome this difficulty, I have good news for you. Chen Yongren. What good news? Ma Jichao. Better news than your return to the police force. After hanging up the phone, Ma Jichao thought for a moment and realized that there was only so much he could do. Let Chen Yongren make a mistake first. Then he said to Tian Yangxi next to him, send two people to keep an eye on Wu Xiaoxiong at the Yujian police station and keep me informed of any news. Tian Yangxi. Yes. Ma Jichao. By the way, bring a camera. If you don't have one, go buy one as soon as possible, preferably with remote focusing. Tian Yangxi. Yes, boss. The difference between Ma Jichao and Qin Yongren is. Ma Jichao has evidence and loyal subordinates. And Qin Yongren, a lonely family with no evidence, can only risk his life. Huh, Wu Xiaoxiong, I'll wait for you to perform. After hanging up Ma Jichao's phone, Qin Yongren thought for a moment and made a decoration first. I called Wu Xiaoxiong's phone number. Wu Sir. Qin Yongren's ear heard the sound of vehicles driving in waves. Qin Yongren. Wu Xiaoxiong's voice came over. At this point, Criminal Intelligence Department, inside the communication vehicle, Wu Xiaoxiong gestured to Lu Jianming from the Intelligence Department. Lu Jianming quickly understood and began tracking the phone based on the signal segment. Then he made a 15 gesture to Wu Xiaoxiong. 15 seconds. It takes 15 seconds to track the location. In order to make a decisive move and give his superiors an explanation, Wu Xiaoxiong dared not be greedy for his achievements. Instead, he found Lu Jianming, a skilled intelligence expert, to work together. Lu Jianming was very wary of the last few members of the Han Chen group, and naturally agreed and cooperated closely. Wu Xiaoxiong breathed a sigh of relief when he saw Lu Jianming ready, and then said to Qin Yongren, Where are you? Chen Yongren said, Sir Wu, the condition you promised last time is that once this case is over, let me return to the police force. I don't know if I can return to the police force now. Lu Jianming shook his hand. My heart screams loudly. Sleeping trough. Chen Yongren is actually an undercover agent. Wu Xiaoxiong paused for a moment before finally shifting the topic and saying, Chen Yongren, do you know where Di Lu is going? If you want to end it earlier, then you can confess to the others. His tone slowed down the pace as much as possible. 
Lu Jianming gestured to him for nine seconds. Chen Yongren said, I don't know about Di Lu, but it's most likely that he went to Thailand. Wu Xiaoxiong. What about being foolish and strong? Six seconds Chen Yongren said, he also ran away, but it shouldn't be Thailand. He's the most timid. Wu Xiaoxiong said, there's one more, do you know Ma Jichao? Two seconds Chen Yongren. Dot. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Hang up. Wu Xiaoxiong was taken aback and stared blankly at the phone. P.S. Recommended ticket, monthly ticket feeding mouth, end of this chapter.